Good evening. What's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here on this Wednesday evening, hump day, October 7th, 2020, about 8.40 p.m. West Coast time here, and taking a look at the Earthquake 3D, 3D globe. A lot of activity out here in the Puerto Rico area with the latest earthquake. Being a 3.0 in that region at about 35 kilometers below surface, um, and that activity is uh, continuing to uplift or uh, continuing to uh, ramp up a little bit there in that area. Some more deep earthquake activity around the Fiji Islands area. 4.5 earthquake there, striking. Uh, let's see if I can get the uh, mag the uh, depth of that. 601 kilometers. That earthquake follows the large six pointer that struck out there um, well below 600 kilometers. I think it was about six, uh, 645 or so below the surface. Some major plate movement out there, some pretty deep activity out there in the Fiji, Fiji Islands area, obviously. Um, that's an area for some major movement when it comes to deep earthquake activity out there. Um, aside from that, looking at the global scale, pretty uh, pretty minor when it comes to the uh, last 24 hours or so. We need to go back over here to a different map scale so we can see a little bit more uh, specific dynamics here. One second here, there we go. So you're kind of looking at the uh, 2.5 magnitude and above. Pretty absent, right? Looking pretty, pretty uh, minimal out there when it comes to major earthquake activity out there. This is uh, 2.5 and above. We need to see the all magnitude, so we get a little, little bit different scale out here. Nevada and well, looks like Ridgecrest as well as the Salton Sea, seeing a little bit of increase in activity out there as far as swarming goes. You can see this uh, movement here down around the Brawley area in Southern California picking up. Not a huge swarm. We're looking at about probably oh, 10 or 12 earthquakes or so within that region, but a little bit of micro quakes towards the uh, north here, towards the Salton Sea. A little bit of migration going on there. As well as the Ridgecrest area, we're seeing a. Uh, eh, to me, it kind of looks a little bit on the minimal side there, as far as 24 hours of activity goes. So, a little bit on the dull side uh, when it comes to Ridgecrest activity there. Up here in Nevada, that's looking uh, pretty average when it comes to activity. We need to go up here to the north. We'll, we'll talk about Yellowstone over here in, in just a little bit. But we're talking about the earthquake activity up here around Mount Rainier, Mount St. Helens, uh, Yakima. All over the place up here, we're seeing some surface quaking going on at some various volcanoes. And this is not magma move, magma movement, folks. Uh, just surface quakes going on there. Very micro, on the micro, micro quake scale is what I'm trying to spit out uh, when it comes to the activity up here. We're not seeing any type of major intrusion of magma, anything like that. Um, this is all just micro quaking going on here along the Pacific Northwest roughly due to the major okay and, and this is not from last night this is looking at today's activity okay if you watch my video last night you would know that we've seen pretty much the same activity going on up here in the pacific northwest this is just today 510 epicenters of tremor along the washington area i know it's a uh, it's, it's a pretty big deal it's a huge influx of uh, tremor going on along the Cascadia subduction zone. And ultimately, we're kind of seeing some activity up there at the surface there in Washington. But uh, man, I tell you what, it's, that's pretty impressive. Also down there in the Southern Oregon, we're seeing a little bit of movement, but uh, that's, uh, I, I tell you what, some major movement over the past couple days there along the Cascadia subduction zone. We haven't really seen too much activity at the surface aside from the um, quakes around some of the volcanoes up there. I mean, you can see it. It's pretty obvious up here at the surface. Some of these are query blast 
you know, at least according to the USGS, but um, a lot of these small microquakes up here along the surface area of the volcanoes and whatnot, um, highly likely due to the, uh, due to the, um, the, uh, what am I saying here? The downslope or the slipping, if you will, of the Cascadia subduction zone here, the uh, Juan de Fuca plate. Not a whole lot of activity up here along the Cascadia, Cascadia subduction zone. I'm trying to spit it out. It's just, we're, uh, man, low humidity, hot temperatures, smoke in the air here in California. Yeah, you would probably talk like me too, so. <laughs> um, a little bit of activity here west of Eureka, down there along the Cascadia subduction zone. You can see 21 kilometers below the surface, pretty much for both both of these quakes here. And uh, that's kind of, it's kind of back building, folks. A lot of pressure back building when we see subduction up here along the Cascadia subduction zone we're looking at an obvious it's an obvious increase in pressure up here along the lock section up here along the surface areas that's that's a given that's 100 percent a given so uh, the further the, the more that this goes on the likelihood of seeing a uh, quake up here along the C cascadia subduction zone is pretty likely what magnitude or how high of a magnitude is questionable we'll have to see what it does but uh tremor definitely tremor plays a major part when it comes to surface quakes up here uh, if you can get enough build up here along the lock section and that's uh it's been locked for quite a while folks over 300 years uh, since we've seen a major earthquake uh along the cascadia subduction zone um so yeah it's it's uh it's pretty crazy a little bit of activity i di didn't cover last night no uh, maybe i did i can't remember i was pretty tired i'm still pretty tired um over here along the new madrid fault system here in little rock well at least well northeast of little rock seen some micro quaking going on here i think activity has definitely calmed down over here to the east compared to last night but uh the pacific northwest west coast we're looking at uh, obvious increased in earthquake activity at the surface with the uh, the uh, subduction there of the Juan de Fuca plate. What else we got there folks? Uh, 4.2 near Albania. But overall we're looking at a relatively period of quiet activity here along the Pacific plate. Uh, except for that little bitty Juan de Fuca plate that's getting uh, it's getting smashed underneath the North American plate there uh, temporarily. But uh, be on guard, folks. Northwest, Pacific Northwest. There's uh, definitely a lot of buildup up there right now. Yellowstone National Park, let's go ahead and go into that. You did see the map there from the USGS. Some quaking going on at the central area, central area of the park there. You can see all these little micro quakes going on there. Some stronger ones here under 2.0 uh, but definitely uh, some pretty good quakes earlier I'm talking about way earlier this morning since then activity has died down tremendously um, and this is just normally I wouldn't even talk about this but uh, since we've seen a period of quiet activity there I figured I would mention it but this is just a very small handful of microquakes going on there around Mary Lake. No intense earthquake swarming, no intrusion of magma out here, no Yellowstone eruption is imminent. There's none. Zero, folks. Sorry to disappoint you, but uh, the facts are the facts. Pretty simple. Kind of similar if you were watching the uh, vice president, uh, you know, <laughs> the crazy show that was going on tonight. It was, oh my gosh anyway let's move on um let's go ahead and talk about the this day in earthquake history real quick here folks hold on one second so my phone's not blowing up so that means i guess everything's going good <laughs> october 7th on this date folks back in uh let's go hold on a second there and check the date there 
5.1 out there in New York, 1983. I was a young kid back then in 1983, so I don't remember hearing about that. I was interested probably more into Hot Wheels and, you know, playing with rocks and stuff like that. So wasn't really into earthquakes at the time, but uh, yeah, 1983 on this date in earthquake history, there was a 5.1 earthquake in New York, or at least in the region of New York. And uh, it looks like there's some slight damage and uh, felt throughout the northeastern United States and in the parts of Canada. So quite a bit of uh, movement going on out there back in 1983. Anyway, folks, we're going to jump off here. I got to finish up my barbecue real quick. Um, still looks like a activity up there in Puerto Rico. It's warming there. I'm going to have a full update tomorrow on the potential for a major hurricane hitting the Louisiana area uh, on Friday sometime. So not a good deal. Some major uh, ca catastrophic damage predicted for that region. And I was, I was just out there a few weeks ago. And uh, man, I feel, f I, I definitely feel for those folks down there in Louisiana and they cannot catch a break getting uh, pretty crazy for them so I'll be back tomorrow with a full update and we'll look at storm tra uh, trajectory I can spit it out <laughs> uh, tomorrow sometime during the update so have a good night folks we'll chat you guys a little bit later peace out